Joomla 3.10.4 and Joomla 4.0.5 have been released. And in this video, we're going to see how to update those individually on sites and how to update a bunch of Joomla sites all at once and talk about some uh, little bits of information you may need along the way. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. Thanks again for tuning in to the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite tools, tips, and extensions for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so if you're looking for someone to hire short-term or long-term, uh, drop me an email, tim at cybersalt.com. Uh, coming up in this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools for managing Joomla sites. That's MySites.Guru. They're our channel sponsor. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site, while you're there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites, as we're going to see. All right, first of all, now if it's a surprise to you that there's two active versions of Joomla right now, don't be surprised. Uh, Joomla 4 came out on August the 17th, 2021, just a few months ago from this recording. And, uh, but Joomla 3 is going to be supported and continue to be active until August 17th, 2023. And so if you have a Joomla 3 site, don't think like, oh no, I've got to update to Joomla 4 right away because uh, everything will continue to work on your Joomla 3 site very nicely. And right now, some extensions, a lot of extensions are still being updated to work on Joomla 4. So if you have a Joomla 3 site, don't worry about it, but you do want to run the latest version, which will update today. Also, if when you're updating now from uh, your, to the most current version of Joomla 3 or to Joomla 4, you run into some problems, it may be because at some point in the past, you ran a hardened HT access file on your Joomla site. Now, we're not going to go into that, but I have a video that talks about that. If you run into it, check the video description below and you'll find a link to that only if you run into some problems. If you're going to update and the updates aren't showing or you're not able to, it could be that. All right, so let's turn our attention to the screen here. We'll update a Joomla 3 site first, then a Joomla 4 site, then we're gonna do a whole bunch and a mix of them all at once. All right, so here is the uh, release page with information about these latest two releases of the Joomla versions. Thank you to everyone who's worked on them and tested them and for the team and to the community. Now, uh, first thing that we're going to do here is go to the back end of this Joomla 3 site that I'm logged in. You'll see that 3.10.4 is available, and so we can update by clicking Update Now, or going to Components, and going to Joomla Update. Now, if you don't have that menu there, I do have a video, paste the link below on how you can add that menu again. All right, let's just click the blue button here. Oh, by the way, remember, always update your Joomla sites before you, uh, always back up your Joomla sites before you do anything uh, migrating your sites or updating to the latest version, just in case, so you can restore them if there's some problem or something happens and uh, avoid drinking your own tears if you don't have a backup. All right, we're just gonna click install the, up the update now. All, all my sites are backed up regularly. We will just wait for the green bar to go shooting across the top there. And there it goes. And there we go. It says it's 3.10.4. I'm going to clean the cache with the regular labs cache cleaner button. And that's just preview to make sure everything's working okay. And yes, we've updated that Joomla 3 site. All right, now let's move on to Joomla 4. Here in Joomla 4, we're back in, in the back end of the site. Right now, the little icon that's checking to see if there's updates available is not showing, not working. Not sure why, but maybe the update will fix that. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to system and then we're going to go to update over here. We're going to go to Joomla. All right. Now, uh, I have a cable backup on here. So use for backing up sites enable automatic backups are off. So this warning message is here and there's a tip here how you can remove that. We won't do that right now. Uh, we're going to go down here. Just double check required settings. This pre update check required settings. All good. Recommended settings, all good. And extensions, all right. So they have two extensions here, J, uh, RS Form Pro and JSite My Pro. And uh, they need, there's updates available for them. Now I can click more up, more details and look. Uh, right now I have 3.0.14 installed, 
3.0.15 is compatible with 403 and 405 so this is the latest version but you know both of these i'm fine with i will update those later on i don't think they're going to cause a problem of course if you're updating your Joomla foresight and you're thinking like oh maybe there's a problem go ahead and update those by all means that's the best practice other things that there's not updated information about but uh, that's pretty standard um uh and and that's okay uh, some of these extensions don't have that information yet uh, and no update required on these plugins. So anyways, you know, I can live with this. Plus, I've backed up the site. If I have any problems, I can restore it. I'm going to check the box here. Yes, say OK, and go update. Now, we would just wait down here. OK, yeah, confirming once again. I've created a backup and my extensions are compatible. Yeah, I'm good with that. Start the update. You can't be too careful. And here we go, waiting for, uh, it's the first, oh, it's a blue bar. It's the first time I've updated a uh, Joomla, oh, I think I have updated Joomla 4 before this way. Anyways, the site has been updated. I don't have cache cleaner on here yet. Let's preview the page. And as that comes up, and it is working. Okay, now let's go to mysites.guru and we will see how to update multiple Joomla sites of different versions all at once. Okay, here we are at a list of Joomla sites that I'm managing with mysites.guru. These aren't all of them, but I've actually created a team member on my account, so I can just show you some of these accounts. The other ones are all clients that are okay for me to show you. You will see over here on the left-hand side, I can click on core updated needed. Now, uh, we will go and we will look now a couple of these I've just updated so I've not refreshed this or the done new snapshots But you'll see down here. We have 310 4.04 310.3 310.1 all of these need to be updated So what we're going to do is go down here to the mass upgrade sites tool We're going to collect the path from those 20 sites that need to be updated and here they all are. Now again, I've backed these all up. So all they need to do is go select all. And we're going to see, for instance, here's one I just did, right? 3.10.4. It was still in the list without me refreshing. Anyway, start the upgrades for the selected sites. And there you go. That's running the background. I could leave this and walk away. But as you know, I like to listen for the dings that remind me that a lot of work is happening all at once with very little effort for myself. These updates will start to be monitored and, and the progress bars will go across. And uh, they're also going to see any important messages that we've still not dealt with in our Joomla sites after they've been updated. Uh, it's not post updated, not post installation messages. Here that, yeah, post installation messages. So you can actually go through and see what's still left to work on on your site and dismiss those individually. But you see, all of these sites are updating right now, and if there's something that doesn't update, I'll get the message, I will see, and then I can go in and manually do something. It's a huge time saver to do all of these sites in one shot. So there you go, I hope that was helpful. Uh, a little bit more involved to talk about now that there's two active versions of Joomla, uh, just make sure you back up follow the instructions and you will be fine if this was helpful please subscribe ring the bell to get notifications of new things happening on this channel and give the video a like it will help others to find it until the next time enjoy your joomla sites and god bless